So in the previous videos, I explained how to use the single rule, the categorized rule, the graduated rule, and even no rule. Okay, um, no styling. Oh, what's the name? Yeah, no symbol. Okay. Um, what am I saying? We learned the single symbol, graduated symbol, categorized symbol. Okay, and I said in this video we will be talking about the rule-based styling. Okay, so in order to do the rule based styling, all you have to do is I'm going to right click on the shape file again and I'm going to the properties. Just where we ended up. So over here, I'm going to change the rule based styling. Okay, and you can see that it has already done some something, some stuff to it. So I'm just going to, on a normal day, what you would have had is something like this, okay, or a single color. Let me just skip the color. On a normal day, what you would have had is a single color representing your work. Okay, so what you have to do is if you are doing the rule based styling, select the rule based styling like this, and there's this general rule for all of them. Okay, that means label all of them green. Now, I want to make some specific rules, so I'm going to add rule here, and I'm going to first of all let's write the query here. So this is an expression builder. It allows you to write SQL codes to uh, so that it can be uh, executed. Okay. So I'm going to start by saying, look for geometries. No, not geometries. Look for fields. Okay, fields and values. And if you study the attribute table, you realize that name one has information about each of the regions and their names okay so look for all those whose name one equals to then you can get all values so let's say you wanted to label northern region a specific color okay so look for all name ones that are equals to northern like this that's that's a very simple query right then i say okay now in this query what do you want to do so i could just label this as northern And whenever you finish writing your query, it's good to test it to see if it works. If it's if it returns a value, it means it works. It returned one value because there's only one northern in the map. So um, how do you want to represent it? So in this case, I probably want to represent northern with a specific color. Let's say I want to represent northern with uh, uh, this color, for instance. Good. And the rest, well, the rest will be so for the rest green will be applied to the rest because green naturally works for all of them but for northern it's a specific rule i am given so i'm going to hit on apply and you see that it's going to do that for northern okay you can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video thank you you can do as many rules as you need so you write your query again Look for fields and values that are equals to where name equals to um, gets unique values. Let's say Ashanti, okay, where name is the same as Ashanti, then you give it a specific um, symbology or styling. So I would probably try something like. Um, not really sure what to choose so i'm going to come up here and pick a color i think that's much easier for me so i'm going to pick a deeper color here and i'm going to hit okay and you can you can label label it okay so i'll just say ashanti ashanti region or ashanti and hit okay and then apply like this okay right so you can always 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 go to label them so you know what you're dealing with so you, if i double click on this i it will allow me to go back to it again you can always edit your styles and for one something like this i could have probably put it sorry i could have put these two rules into one so let, let me just create a third rule let's say this time i want to do for upper east and volta okay so i can create my query like this Look for fields and values that have name one to be equals to get all unique values then i will say upper east okay then i will say and i just type end over here and then repeat the same thing name one equals to um 
I said Volta, right? Volta, which means I'm expecting two values. So let me just test to see if I get two values. Zero returned. Maybe my end has a problem. So I'm just going to go back here and use capital A and D. Or probably I should use or let me just confirm and see which one works. Zero. Let's use an or and see. I'm not so sure why it's returning zero. Test it again. Then we get to which means that it's going to select both Volta and um, upper east. So I'm going to say east slash east and Volta, right? Or east or Volta. Like this. These are two different places in Ghana. Then you can choose to give them the same style because you selected them together. Right, so I'm just going to go down here and find a style I think suits them both, something like this. Or oh, let's use a red pattern. I like red. Good. And so you see that they have the same pattern. All right. So basically, the rule-based styling is is very important. It's simple to use and it's really effective or efficient, if I should say. It's really efficient because it allows you to apply your style and based on certain criteria you have or you want to okay it's not necessarily like a single based rule where one color works for all of them okay so that's 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 basically it for rule based styling um we will talk about labels in the next videos but um before we move i just want to draw your attention to um a few things so let's go back to the styling for instance the general styling okay um it's it's here it's also in the rule based styling it's in the single based styling the categorization all these things are there i just want to draw your attention to the fact that if i should click on the symbol i would have the chance to edit it okay the symbol i can change maybe i don't want all of them to be green i want to give it a certain color probably um i'm not so sure what color i would pick that will work but let's say a color like this okay i could do this and the fill, the fill style, and the stroke. There are actually a lot of features you can edit about it. I could increase the stroke color a bit and give it a color of white. So you can do all these stylings to your map. All right. Um, you, this is the stroke. Let me just make it a little dominant so you notice it. So select on it then go to the stroke then increase the stroke width to probably 1.2 and then the stroke style to um, solid line okay in order to make it appear like this or well, that was too much but that's basically how the stroke works so it gives the boundaries of each of the regions so that it becomes more visible and more uh, differentiable okay so basically that's it for styling and in the next videos we'll probably talk about labeling and more styling options okay all right